Hello guys, welcome to Google Tech. If today is your first time here, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon below. So today I have with me here Chachu. I'll be having a conversation with him to know if it is worth studying data science as a software engineer. You are welcome, Chachu. Thank you very much, Google Tech. Thank you for having me. Uh, you are welcome. You are welcome. It's, a, you. it's a great okay. opportunity having Thank you here. Thank you for having so, me. So uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, like where you come from and your educational background? Okay. Okay. So um once again thank you very much for having me um my my name is akoli edward Tachu, and i'm a product from ghana communication technology university where i read telecommunication engineering as my first degree and later on i moved into um where i served also as a public relations officer of the slc in the year 2020 2021 academic year and i completed um ghana communication technology university badge first degree um, in telecommunication engineering Okay, I, I come from Big Adam, but um, over the period of time, I stayed at Ashama, and later from Ashama, I moved to Takrade, where I had my high school. And from Takrade, I came back to Ashama, eh, Ashama, my Ashama, I came back to Accra, where I had my, my, my tertiary um, like, um, education. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's really nice. That's really nice. So, where did this all begin? When did you hear about programming or getting into data science? Okay, cool. How did you start? Cool. So I think when I was in level 100 okay. um, at GTT, we like popularly known as GT. So um, in my first year, I think we had a course called Introduction to Computer Programming C++, where I was taught by some weird lecture, what people say weird lecture. But to me, the lecture was very, very cool because what he was teaching was very, very like, okay. And I really under understood it. But I didn't know how to do copy and paste. I didn't know how to do drag and drop. I didn't even have laptop as at that moment and all. So, but I, I, I really found it very interesting that um, there's something called programming and you could do some mathematical computation and something just pop out. You just print Hello World and something just come out. So I, I, I really found the, the thing very, very interesting. So uh, let me ask this question. So was it university that you got to know that there was something called programming? Yes, it was my first year. I go to university. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's great. So how did you find yourself in the data science industry? Okay. So and that's that, that's a very nice story because it was it was it was it was really, really um something that was um, like heartbreaking at the beginning because I went to Haptor for an internship and I was rejected. I went to other companies to for an internship and I was also rejected. So I went to Suku area for another internship where I was accepted, but I wasn't accepted as a data scientist or as a data science intern or something. But I think I met someone at um, um, Impuntu, and that person navigated my way into data science. He taught me about what is data, data science and why they need to study data science. As, so I was very, very interested, interested about studying data science because I was having a good mathematical background, so I really okay. wanted to study data science okay. when he introduced me to the data science as well i feel like it's something worth studying yeah. okay that's great that's great so was it your first time hearing data science too at that place or you heard about it before going there and why do they reject you is it because your, your educational background wasn't in the field of data science or yeah. i think i think that's a very good question you could take so um i did so as i said i i was i was reading the um, like telecommunication engineering Okay. So when, when I went to Haptel, Haptel was really looking for somebody who can program, even as an intern. Okay. Who, and I didn't know anything about programming. Even okay. though my level one bed, they were teaching me into introduction to computer programming C++. Okay. I thought that, oh, okay, I could learn. So I, I was thinking that I could even learn on the job, job. while I was at Haptel okay. as an intern. So I, when I was rejected, when I went to um, Impuntu, I really understood the whole aspect of data science. Like it's about all about computation and mathematical operations. So I really, really got into it. So why would you advise someone who is in software engineering to study uh, data science? Okay, so along my career path, um, I was studying data science from level 100 when I got to know about data science up to level 300. So I have a three years of consistent study in data science. Okay. So the, I got to realize that I move into machine learning which is an aspect of data science okay. where we build machine learning models for prediction predictive analysis and all so i got to realize that it is very very important that um i get to know why i have to build machine learning 
models and all. So I could pick um, a data set from Kaggle or Zimbi and make some analysis on it. And at the end of the day, I get my results. But when I got the results, see like the probability of the model is like 0, 0 0.8, 0, 0 0.9, which also tells that the model is actually robust or not. So after building my accuracy, after building my model and comparing my accuracy, the model is very good to only me. I am the only person who can understand my model. And it, 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 it was very difficult for me to explain my model to people that, oh, when, for example, when, when you want to predict that it will rain or not, my model perform an accuracy, perform well with an accuracy of 0 0.9. It's very difficult for me to explain to somebody that it will rain today or not, because my model, I'm the only one who understood it. No. So I felt like it is very necessary for me to study software engineering, where I'll be able to build my, uh, my front-end application and integrate my machine learning model into my back-end application oh, split on the front end oh, so that if somebody click on if will, will it rain today my model will be able to predict so that yes it will rain at the back end and display yes it will rain at the front end oh, so it was very important for me to know softwares and how software works so that it's very easy for me to integrate the machine learning models into my software okay so with your current company are you doing um, uh, are you into data science or are you into software program uh, software engineering okay so my with my current company i work with apps and mobiles which is the fintech company at oh. Shashi. Oh. so at apps and mobile i work um, as an data scientist in some way and i also work as a software engineer in some way so my day-to-day -day activities is to write automations by using my machine learning concepts and ideas mm -hmm. to build more automation for the fintech industry so that most of our transactions it's not man manually hit. Okay. So when you make a payment using Orchard, which is, what is, which is our payment gateway, when, when you call Orchard and some of the transactions fail, we have this automation that manually reprocesses your transactions for you. So we don't need to hard code settings. We don't need to have somebody manually sitting behind the machine and just making some processes. So with my data science and machine learning concepts, I've been able to build certain models that will be able to operate under that particular um, systems. So what are some of the programming languages you use as a data science? Okay, so I use Python. Python is the basis I use. Okay. So I use Python for my everything called everything data science and everything machine learning. That's really good. That's really good. Machine learning is really the future of uh, the world. I can see most people are now getting into machine learning. So how would you recommend machine learning to someone who is coming up? Okay, so it is in two ways. If if the person doesn't have any idea about what data science is, <clears throat> I recently posted um, an article on on, um, on LinkedIn on how to get into data science as a newbie. So people just move into ma ma machine learning, saying that I just want to become a machine learning engineer without understanding the data analytics part, the feature engineering process, and all those processes in order for you to be able to build a machine learning model. Okay. So in building a machine learning model, you need to understand the feature engineering process, okay. the analytics process, doing the data cleaning, for you to clean the data, for you to choose your dependent variables and independent variables before you're able to choose a machine learning algorithm okay. to be able to build that machine learning model for you. Okay. So, so you don't just move into machine learning, machine learning. Yeah, but you need to learn this, this process one after the other before you can move into machine learning. And I also advise that before you move into data science, don't rush into coding. Just take your time and understand the concept of, of statistics. Because statistics is the basic building block of um, every data scientist. So will you say someone who wants to become a data scientist or machine get into machine learning should have a, a, a basic? A, no, I will not say a basic, like a, like a firm a background of mathematics. Oh, okay. So that will not be through that fact. So if if you know if if you're very good at um, statistics or mathematics, that's a plus for you. But um, there's no doubt that you can study um, that because I didn't read um, statistics in school. I read telecommunication engineering where I did a bit of uh, math five, which is a little bit of statistics. So even though I don't have um, knowledge, a full grasp on um, statistics. Um, I was recommended by my mentor to read certain um, tutorials or to actually read certain books that, that really helped me in my statistics understanding. Example of such a material is great learning from, you, from YouTube. Okay. And it's very good. Okay. Thank you very much. I would like you to share your social media handle so that 
people who are watching us will get in touch with you, give them more resources for them to also what, mm -hmm. uh, learn to understand. Mm -hmm. So on my LinkedIn, it is Edward Tachu Akoli, but on my Facebook, it's so Edward Tachu Akoli, but on my Twitter, it is Edward underscore Tachu. Okay. Yeah. Your last words for our audience. Okay. So I would say that um, it is worth studying data science um, as a software engineer because it actually puts you on a larger scale and actually help you to sell yourself out on the market. Because as a data scientist and as a software engineer, combining these two really, really help you to understand where data is coming from, the source, and it, its destination. So you can process data in-house and what you do with data is very, very important. So I advise that you always watch Kuku Tech because there are more interesting videos coming again. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. This has been another amazing episode. Please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Follow him for more uh, insights or to know more about data science. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Peace. Stay tuned.